Stepney's visit to Sir Topham Hatt's railway was coming to an end. We shall miss you, said Sir Topham Hatt. Then he turned his attention to all the other engines. My railway is very busy, and I'm pleased with you, but you need help. A diesel is all that's available. Please do your best to avoid any uh, <clears throat> disturbances. What does that mean? whispered Duck. That means this diesel is difficult, snapped James. And he was. The diesel surveyed the shed. Not bad. I've seen worse. At least you're all clean. The engines glared. It's not your fault, but Sir Topham Hatch should scrap you and get engines like me. A fill of oil, a touch on the starter, and I'm off. No bother, no waiting. They have to fuss round you for hours before you're ready. The engines were furious. Next morning, they held an indignation meeting round the turntable. Disgraceful. Disgusting. Despicable. To say such things to us, cried Donald and Douglas, is to teach them a lesson we'd be wanting. Now, how do we do it? Their chance came sooner than expected. The diesel was purring comfortably. An inspector watched a fitter making final adjustments. The wind tugged at the inspector's hat. The diesel was ready. Look at me, Duck and Stepney. Now I'll show you something. He rolled proudly toward his coaches. Then it happened. Shaking and spluttering, the diesel stopped. Meanwhile, the inspector was looking for his hat. The diesel seethed with fury as Duck and Stepney pushed him back to the shed. My hat, exclaimed the inspector. You sucked it through your air intake. Bother your hat. The heavy train's due out. You'll have to take it, Duck. Stepney, will you help, please? Thank you, sir, cried Stepney. I'd like a good long run on my last day. The engines were soon ready. Gordon will take over from halfway, so get the train to there. Good luck. Don't worry, smiled Stepney. We'll get there, and be early, too. The cavalcade moved carefully over the rails and out to the open line. Now for a sprint, puffed Stepney. I'm ready when you are, replied Duck. Soon they were whizzing through Edward Station. And next they charged at Gordon's Hill beyond. They felt the drag of the heavy coaches here. It was hard work. At last they were running smoothly along the line toward the big station. said Gordon. That's one in the headlamp for old Diesel. James says he's sick as boiler sludge and sulking in the shed. Serves him right for saying we're out of date. And Gordon chortled away. Next day, everyone came to say goodbye to Stepney. Come back and see us soon, whistled the engines. And you are always welcome on my Bluebell Railway, too, replied Stepney. Then he puffed away. What about Diesel? He'd slipped out while no one was looking. But he left two things behind. A rather nasty smell and a battered bowler hat.